poster I made now, I we've moved to the um, prayers area or the mahrab. Um, and I've noticed here in particular in that area that the uh, columns seem to be uh, a bit longer and thicker. Is there any resemblance? significance to this? Yes, the first purpose here is to support the, the, the dome over the prayer niche and second it's a place for the, the caliph and his court men to pray in privacy and this is to avoid the risk of the assassination. Right and also we have the dome which I do know as we spoke before earlier it was done usually for acoustic purposes. Can you yes. explain to me? Yes, because there wasn't a microphone during that time so they just um, decided to add a dome or more domes inside this mosque for the purpose of the acoustic. If we just uh, clap our hand like that, we can hear. You can hear the echo actually, so everybody would be able to hear the calling exactly. for the prayers. Yes, exactly. And moreover, we can see also some windows below the, the dome. This is to enlighten this place. And also, the dome supporting over a uh, spherical triangular bindin tabs was added by the Ottomans because the dome was um, uh, damaged during their time. And they decided during the 17th, 17th century to restore the dome. So it's an Ottoman restoration. Exactly. Mr. Hamzi, as we've come closer to the um, mahrab, um, can you tell us a little bit more in details about the, the decoration of the mahrab? And um, I know that area over there um, is especially for the Friday sermon. That wouldn't um, 
that area where the um, Imam actually uh, says his sermon for Friday. Can you talk to me a little bit more in details and explain to us um, that Mehrab area? Uh, unfortunately, most of the marble of this mosque was robbed. It was dismantled during the medieval time and was um, transferred to some other buildings. But um, in the year 1924, the Committee of Preserving Arab Monuments decided to restore the mosque partly. So, so the mosque has been restored altogether, 1924? Yes. yes, in 1924 they started that uh, restoration project and they have just uh, restored this part of the prayer niche the mihrab and they added a marble of different uh, shapes and different colors called the polychrome marble besides some marble dadas and they also used the mother of pearl uh, for the restoration and some uh, decorations with a Persian influence like the dwarf blind arcades that was added inside the recess of the mihrab. Also to the right side we can see the, the pulpit or uh, um, the member of the, of the mosque it was used for the Friday sermon mm -hmm. and it's made of sycamore wood and inlaid with ebony and ivory. So uh, that part as well has been restored? Yes. That member as well? The member was uh, added by the committee, it's not restored. The original uh, member or the pulpit was uh, robbed as well, besides uh, the marble of the mosque. So that's a restored member as well? Yes, this, is, uh, this one was added by the committee in 1924. And as we've come closer um, to the mihrab area, can you explain to us a little bit in details the decorations of the mihrab um, area, please, Mr. Hamdi? Uh, well, if we, if we look at, uh, at the recess of the mihrab, we can see uh, at the bottom the dwarf blind arcades, which was an um, entirely Persian style of art during the time of the 14th century. And also we can see some verses from the Holy Quran left from with the Naskh script. Mm -hmm. At the top, we can see also some mother of pearl used for the decoration with the name of Allah left inside a medallion, like the sun on its rays. And also to the right and the left from the mihrab, and that was a part uh, that was restored uh, among the restoration of the year 1924 by the Committee of Preserving Arab Monuments. You can see the marble of different colors. It's called the polychrome marble and with different geometrical shapes as well. Behind me, we can see the... the, the now we're moving on to the, uh, the member. Or the pulpit. Exactly. Uh, this, this pulpit was... Uh, was uh, the purpose of the member originally the was for... The purpose for the Friday sermon. Mm -hmm. um, well, the, the imam uh, recites the sermon before the noon prayer on Friday. And unfortunately, the original member of the mosque was lost, mm -hmm. uh, robbed or lost. Yes, during the medieval time, but uh, during the 20th century, the Committee of Preserving Arab Monuments decided to add another member, member or uh, the pulpit. It's made of the cedar wood and inlaid with uh, ebony and ivory. Uh, the, the ebony is the black wood. And we can see some geometrical patterns here, like the star pattern decoration. Okay, yeah. in the middle, we can see the star and... Mm. Uh, and different other and geometric uh, geometrical patterns. Yes, it's a Fatimid, uh, Fatimid invention, uh, Fatimid uh, design, but uh, later the Mamluks use it as a decorative element for their, for their wooden objects, especially the, the pulpit or the member.
we've come now to the end of one of Egypt's uh, treasure today, the uh, Al Nasser Muhammad Ibn Khalawun Mosque, that we hope you've enjoyed and discovered the story behind this treasure and looking forward to another story behind another treasure. See you.